A comic book fan in Venezuela has gone to extreme measures to be just like his hero, Captain America's greatest enemy, the supervillain Red Skull. Wait, his hero is the Red Skull? Have I been reading those comics wrong my entire life? The man formerly known as 37-year-old Henry Damon has gone through several facial modifications to become the Red Skull. So how did Henry, who now goes by Red Skull, become his favorite supervillain? Oh, just a combination of subdermal implants to give his forehead that skeleton look, combined with red and black facial tattoos, black tattooed eyeballs, and surgery to have part of his nose removed. That's right, he had part of his nose removed. He's willing to go to any length necessary to become the Red Skull. Well, any length except shaving, apparently. UK's The Daily Mail has photos of the transformation from normal dude to less normal dude with forehead bumps to straight up super villain. While Henry's transformation is a hard pill to swallow, for sure, there are worse Captain America villains he could have become, like Nazi Frankenstein, for one. The Red Skull first appeared in Captain America in 1941 as leader of the fictional terrorist organization Hydra. And the Red Skull is generally considered Captain America's greatest adversary. As anyone who has seen the recent blockbuster Captain America The Winter Soldier can tell you, Henry isn't the first time facial modification and Hydra have existed in one place. This is a nice pen. Thank you. According to the Daily Mail, Red Skull, a.k.a. Henry, isn't quite done turning himself into the Red Skull, a.k.a. Johann Schmidt. He plans on getting silicone implants in his chin, cheeks, and cheekbones, as well as getting the rest of his face tattooed red. Hopefully at some point he will also shave his beard. What do you think of Red Skull? You know, I'm considering getting work done to look like this guy from my favorite superhero movie, Green Lantern. Should I do it? Let us know using the hashtag Skullface.